you wake up every night between 3 and 5 a.m., you may be having a spiritual awakening. Do you often find yourself waking up between the wee hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m.? It may have become your normal sleep pattern and you no longer consider it as nothing. But according to research, your body, soul and life are actually trying to tell you something, something which may be important for you to pay attention to. Rumi said, The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. Energy flows into your body through various channels located in the body. The channels are called meridians. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the energy is referred to as qi. Some of those meridians are much more important because they often carry most of the qi. According to Thought Catalog, out of these 14 meridians that flow through the body, 12 of the meridians connect with the 24-hour clock. That means there are two hours each day in which one meridian, which is running through a certain part of your body, becomes the primary. Meridians are linked to parts of the body and bodily processes, as well as through thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Basically, the hour that you keep waking up can tell you which meridian is experiencing a disruption. Now, when these meridians are troubled, they need to heal properly, either through the Chinese acupuncture or other kinds of practice, which helps the energy qi flow better. Your mind usually experiences its most calmness and serenity very early in the morning. It is at these times that the deep and quiet energy of your heart is able to emerge softly and express itself. Traditional Chinese medicine TCM believes that to maintain balance in our qi and also for us to achieve proper health and stamina, every meridian is activated every couple of hours. But if a meridian is disturbed, the energy cannot flow through that meridian. As a result, you may experience certain symptoms when that channel is turned on. One of the problems usually related to meridian issues is troubled sleep or repeatedly waking up during those certain hours where the associated meridian are activated. When you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. every night, it is a sign that energy in certain areas of your body connected to that meridian is blocked, weak, or that new energy is trying to come true. Depending on the time you wake up at night, your body could experience certain sensation and communicate certain physical and emotional problems to you. You should not ignore waking up in the middle of the night. If you find yourself waking up at the same time in the middle of the night, these are some of the things you must know. If you're finding it difficult to sleep between 9 to 11 p.m., it could be a sign that you're stressed. You may be worrying too much or you may be stressed about a particular. It is important that you sleep at this time since this time is normal bedtime for most people. The stress and worry could be from a tiring day or something else. Experts recommend that breathing techniques, positive mantras, meditation, muscle tension and relaxation exercises help you go back to sleep. The most important thing is to shift your mind from thinking to focus on your body so you can relax and fall asleep. Waking between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. If you wake up between 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., it could indicate that you are emotionally disappointed. Asian Chinese medicine says this is the time when the gallbladder is active. When you wake up at this time, you are most likely emotionally disappointed. To help you relax and go back to sleep, you can use positive mantras and practice self-acceptance and forgiveness. When you spend time practicing forgiveness of others and accepting yourself unconditionally, this will help you get back to a regular sleep cycle. Start to do this by experiencing the feeling of love in your heart. Then start to love each part of your body. Think like this, I love my body, I love my body, I love my legs. This way, you are learning to treat yourself with compassion. When you start to feel the calmness that this practice brings, settle into it slowly and enjoyably. You should also make it a practice now to forgive and let go of anything that is currently bothering you about another person. To do this effectively such that it connects with you emotionally, bring the love you are towards the part of you that is struggling with the experience of another. You may experience a lot of pain and frustration. However, it would help if you forgave yourself because you are at the center of this experience. At this point, you should start to observe a release of the hearts and pains that are connected to another person. At the same time, 
Your gallbladder will also start to profit from your emotions which are healing this way. You will start to enjoy sound sleep after this practice and will feel better. Waking up between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. If you usually wake up between 1 to 3 a.m., it may indicate that you are angry. This is the time and energy meridian associated with the liver. Energy imbalances connected to the liver often have to do with the emotions of anger and having excess yang energy. At this point, you should drink some water to keep yourself hydrated. Afterward, inspect your life and find out who or what you are angry at or about. You may be angry with something or someone. That anger is usually connected to you not having your way or meeting your needs. This is the kind of feeling you have as a result of the feeling of hot. Waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. This period of time is connected to your lungs and also emotions of sadness. If you wake up between these times, it could mean that a higher power is trying to reach you to guide you towards your higher purpose. If you want to go back to sleep, then you should try to breathe slowly and pray. Too often, when you get to the middle age range, you can feel a quiet and seemingly inexplicable sadness. Your soul could be sending you this message to remind you that you have deep spiritual needs you haven't met. These needs can often be connected to deep inner love. Often, we become so busy in our daily routines, our careers and our family lives that we get distracted from and forget about the true calling of our loving hearts and souls. It's possible that the energy of your soul that lives within your heart has certain things that it wants to accomplish. Perhaps there are certain people that it wants to help and to love. Sit in a quiet place and with a mind as quiet as possible. Listen within your heart's gentle whispers. You will begin to feel a gentle and very subtle movement of openness and softness deep within your heart. And you need to listen to this to find out what your soul is trying to tell you. You may experience profound confidence, relief and peace after connecting at such a deep level and any sadness will slowly melt away. Waking up between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. For those who constantly wake up at this time of the morning, you must realize that this time of the morning is connected to the energy flow in the large intestines and emotional blockages. This meridian is associated with the element of metal that is the Chinese element system. The meridian of the large intestine is responsible for our body's detox system. To heal here properly, Try an intestine breathing exercise by breathing in deeply until your lower abdomen seems to inflate and then slowly breathe out, pulling your lower abdomen in for a deep flex for a few seconds. Carry out this breathing technique again and again until your lower abdomen and large intestines are good. It may feel sore at first, but this means the blockage is clearing. After a few weeks, you'll notice a lighter feeling of relief as your large intestines has released the blockages and associated toxins. In summary, according to a thought catalog writer, waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. can be a sign of a spiritual awakening. Not everyone experiences symptoms of awakening, such as literally being woken up from their sleep at odd hours. Other symptoms include going through a major life change, having intense emotional experiences often out of nowhere, questioning reality and what you are really capable of in life, having an intense realization about the nature of existence and yourself, or seeing old issues from childhood crop up again. Similar situations repeat so you can respond differently this time.